Battlefront 2 video, and today I'm here to talk about Battlefront 2's newest hero, Count Dooku, who came to us uh, a couple days ago in the Dark Tyrannus update, which brought in a couple bug fixes, Count Dooku himself, Geonosis to Arcade Blast, and Heroes vs. Villains, and that's pretty much it. Honestly, um, real quick, I'm going to go over my thoughts on the update and then Count Dooku himself, um, but... First of all, this update was a little bit underwhelming. I was expecting get, to get the Coruscant Guard um, with Dooku, but I heard they got delayed, so that was unfortunate. I was really looking forward to getting a chance to purchase um, Dooku and the Coruscant Guard uh, skin because I had the credits for it saved up, but now I've got 40,000 credits pretty much just sitting there that I can't really do anything with. So I'm just going to wait for Anakin and hopefully they don't delay the 501st and Anakin, but I guess it's going to be a bigger Clone Wars update. So I guess what's going to happen is we're getting the Coruscant Guard and the 501st with Anakin. So fine, whatever, I'll wait for that. Um, and there were a bunch of weird glitches that came out of this update as well. Some things were fixed, one thing that took way too long to fix was Phasma Staff Strike, they finally got that down. And it, it works fine. I've got no complaints about it. I tried it out um, a few days ago. Um, and it, it works fine. I didn't get any footage of it, but it's completely fine. Now the animation is sped up, so it works. It finally actually works. But Kylo's Frenzy ability has a really, really weird glitch now. They fixed it, quote unquote, but instead of it um, jumping to an enemy and killing them, it'll just hop around, do a light damage to multiple enemies, which is kind of stupid if it's going to do that it should be able to just one shot enemies now like target three enemies and then kill them except for of course heroes um but yeah i don't know i like the idea of it but it just needs to do more damage and i heard that they're going to be tweaking his bloodlust card to where his frenzy ability does more damage but i feel like it should do more base damage before they use the star card um so yeah and also another really weird glitch that i did experience for the first time today was apparently Luke Skywalker can only speak German. This has happened in a few matches that I've seen online, and this is the very first time it's happened to me. Um, I was recording, and I probably will go back and find the footage of it and post it as a separate video. But yeah, apparently in some scenarios, Luke Skywalker will speak in his German voice that is normally only heard by German players. So yeah, 999, nine, nine, whatever. That, that, yeah, Luke, Luke speaks German, and it's on an international scale. So I can't understand what he's saying, but I'm sure all of you Germans can. So yeah, that's pretty much the, my thoughts on the update as a whole. It was a bit underwhelming. Um, honestly, aside from the fact that we did get a new hero, it's a bit more underwhelming than the solo update. That's really saying something. Even though Count Dooku is a very good addition to the hero roster, I don't know, I just wanted more from it. But anyways, enough of that. Let's get into the main man himself, Lord Tyrannus. Now, Dooku, I hopped into a quick arcade match. It's what I always do when a new uh, hero or villain comes out. I hop into arcade and play with them for like 10 to 15 minutes to figure out their play style, figure out some strategies, test out star cards, just mess around with them to figure out what works, what doesn't, um, and how to use the hero properly, just to strategize with it. And what I found is that Dooku cannot fight against large groups of enemies. If he takes on four or more, let's say like regular troopers, best advice is to just get out and back off. He's not very good on open maps, um, but he does have abilities that can keep him safe if he ends up getting caught in a bad scenario. His abilities are amazing. Duelist being probably his best ability where he completely changes his lightsaber sequ sequences and do more damage. That's, that's always a good thing. A damage buff is very, very useful. Um, exposed weakness slows an enemy down and if you kill that enemy that's affected by it, it it's an instant recharge a very very useful ability in a tight situation and then his lightning stun which I thought was going to be like Palpatine's um, electrocute ability not even close um, to it, it the lightning looks so so good it, it looks perfect like they, they took some real time and effort onto it onto this ability in particular and they, they just nailed it they nailed the whole Darth Tyrannus vibe and everything. It was, it was perfect. I couldn't have asked for anything better, and I'm praising DICE for this. And there, there isn't a single glitch I've come across with Dooku whatsoever. He plays perfectly. 
it's not like Obi Wan or Grievous where at launch there were a few glitches with Grievous. Um, sometimes his dash strike wouldn't work, uh, or his uh, unrelenting advance ability was just a little weird. It didn't work right or something like that. They fine tuned Dooku, and I think that's why they pushed back some of the content for this update was so that way they can make sure they got Dooku right, which I'm gonna give them credit for. That that was a really really good move on Dice. Dice's end. I again, I'm still sitting here wishing that we got more from that update, but at the same time, I'm if that's what it took to fine tune Dooku, then you know what? I'll just live with it. It's whatever. But yeah, Dooku plays very well in Heroes vs. Villains, a game that I have gotten to play with him. Because, uh, of course, everyone is wanting to play as Dooku as quick as possible. And when Anakin comes out, it's going to be nearly impossible to get a game or two in with Anakin. Because everyone's going to want to play with Skywalker. Um, but the games I did play, I got Dooku all the way up to level 7. As of right now, I think a level 8, actually. I played two rounds of Galactic Assault with him. And I've gotten to play four, maybe five games of Heroes vs. Villains with him. Um... He's definitely more built for heroes versus villains, I will say that. He, um, he's very good in one-on-one -on -one dueling, and he counts his character as a duelist. So Dice, of course, is going to have to design the character around having his strengths based off of lightsaber dueling. And you throw him up against Rey, Luke, and Obi-Wan, yeah, he's going to win 9 times out of 10, even, even at base level. I've killed so many people. Um, now that I've gotten the star cards upgraded a, li a little bit more, when I've had him at his base level, I mean, he was somewhat effective, but I was going like 9 and 9 or 6 and 9 or something like that. I, I was always dying a lot, but once I got the star cards upgraded to where he can contend a little bit more with those higher up players, Dooku is a beast against lightsaber, other lightsaber users. But he's not super effective against um, blast any blaster heroes. Like, I've noticed that his strikes will come up just short sometimes, even if he's right in front of an opponent. If they bear, if they um, combat roll away, I almost said barrel roll. If they combat roll away, com they, 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 I can't English today, guys. If they combat roll away from you, and you're right in front of them, your strikes will pretty much just barely miss them. And they can block you full of laser balls and you're dead. Which kind of sucks, I've had that happen to me a few times, but... I guess that just goes with Dooku's playstyle. He's not meant to really take on blaster heroes. He's more designed to counter any of the lightsaber heroes, which I like, and it's safe screw to Dooku's character. Downside is if you end up catching yourself in a scenario with Han Solo, Leia, and Lando in a hallway, yeah, it's just best to book it away from him as quickly as you can. But, yeah, um, Dooku is very, very good at taking on one or two lightsaber opponents. Um, he's one of the few heroes that I could say take you could take on to um, enemy players with, as long as they're lightsaber users, otherwise don't even waste their time on it, and be very, very smart, <coughs> oh, excuse me, <coughs> oh, excuse me, um, be very, very smart when you do, um, because although Dooku is a very good duelist, his abilities are wired to him being a good duelist, and he can wipe out enemies very quickly, and be very mindful, because two Jedi can easily outmaneuver you. Very, very quickly. Sorry, um, <coughs> my throat's a little dry. So, um, anyways, yeah, Duke is a very good duelist. Not the best hero for graphic assault, but definitely a very, very effective hero in Heroes vs. Villains. I think I've rambled a little bit too long about him anyways, since we're already cracking on nine minutes for this video. But yeah, um, as soon as I upgrade him a little bit more, I'm going to be getting a hero guide out for Dooku on like a how-to how Dooku video uh, very, very soon. And if there's any other heroes or villains you want me to cover in that series, comment down below because I would do whatever people want first. And anyways guys, that's all I gotta say about Count Dooku and the Dark Tyrannus update. Drop a like down below if you liked it and also comment down below for what you guys want me to do next. I am sorry about the video delay but don't worry, content is coming. I'm just slower than dirt even though I promised daily videos. Well, you, you know, school school's a B-I-T blank blank and it unfortunately doesn't allow me to get as many videos as I want out. So yeah, but comment down below what you guys want me to do next. Drop a like and subscribe and turn on post notifications. Become one, of, become a part of my post notification squad and just click that little bell right next to the subscribe button after you subscribe, of course. And you can check the post notification settings and make sure it's selected to all of my videos so you get notified every single time a new video comes out. 
Anyways, I'm going to shut up now and let you guys go on the rest of your day. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch my videos. And I'm Dylan Deer, signing out. Bye-bye.